Digi fans and welcome back to Digidom. That series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, in today's video, I know what you're thinking. Why is he wearing that ridiculous pair of sunglasses? And that's because I'm going to teach you how to make an invitation to a party that everyone's going to want to come to using Adobe Spark Post. As always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Spark apps individually, Spark Page, Spark Post, and Spark Video. And if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, let's go over to the tutorial where I teach you how to make an invitation to a party using Adobe Spark Post. Okay, party people, time to create our party invitation. So the first thing I'm going to do over here is go to event, right? An event because I want to find a template and just to show you how easy this is. And you can choose any of these ones down here and do anything you like with them. I'm just going to choose the first one and show you how easy it is to make something cool. So I'm going to edit this template. It's already, look at that. It's already had 13,409 remixes. Well, this is going to be 13,410. So first things first. What I want to do is change the title. It's not a winter gala. It's going to be a Digidom Fest. Cool. Now, first things it's done here is you can see it's got uh, a primary and a secondary thing here, a secondary style on the text, which is why it's Digidom in one and then Fest. And then the T is in the primary and not the secondary. And I want to change that. So I'm just going to grab this little end here. Boom. The T is now in that funky font, whatever that is. Bikram script. I like it. Looks pretty cool. So that's the first thing I wanted to do. The next thing is Spark Event Productions. No, no, no. It's not. What I'm going to do is do something at the top here. I'm going to write something like, you are invited to the party of the year. Okay, cool. Now, looks pretty boring there at the moment. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? So let me center it. I'm kind of pop it up near the top. And then what I'm going to do is going to go to my style wheel. Let's see if we can't make this look a little bit better. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's getting a bit, of, ooh, getting interesting. That's pretty cool. Like it. Okay, maybe I'll just make it slightly bigger. Is there a way of making it? Maybe that's about as big as it's going to get. Make sure it's centered. There we go. Also, I think I'm going to change the color slightly. I think I'm going to make it into uh, a sort of red and I'm going to change this color here so it's white, I think. There we go. Nice. And it's like a stripe across the top. I really like that. I think it looks cool. Okay, so I need to add in the date. Let me add it here. Go to text. Add in my text. 28th. It's going to be on the 28th of the 5th, which is May 2021. I'm going to click done. And then I'm like, whoa, where is it? It's down here. You can see, you can see the box with the four circle corners there. So I'm going to drag that up. Uh, I'm going to pop it just in there. What I think I'll do is I'll match it to the fest red and the red of this kind of stripe across the top. So I'll select color on the right hand side. Oh, let me show you what I can do. I can press change color, go to my little dropper tool here. And you see wherever I put my crosshairs, Boom, done. I like it. Nice. So one thing I'd like to do also is add in an icon. You can do that here. And I'm going to search for headphones. Cool. Which ones am I going to do? Let me do, hmm, could be any of these really. Let me, I think I use these on another one. So maybe they're like the special Digidom ones. So first of all, I'm going to kind of take it up this way. I'm going to use the little rotation arrow there. I'm going to make it into the kind of size that I want. Rotate it back that way ever so slightly. Bring it down. Still think it's quite big. Make it a bit smaller. Oh, I did that to the text. I shouldn't have done that. Let me grab this, move it. That'll do round about there. But I also don't want it to be red. I want it to contrast. So maybe I can try the orange. No, not liking that. Yellow. Yeah, because Digidom, that's kind of my colors. My colors are yellow. Let me just select it again, make it ever so slightly smaller. Cool, Digidom Fest. You're invited to the party of the year. 
So we've got that as the kind of intro to the invite. We've got the date. We've got the title. It's called Digidon Fest. We've got a little kind of logo pair of headphones on there. Next thing I want to do is change these photos. My party's not going to look like this. So I'm going to select the photo and I can either use replace here or replace there. I'm going to replace this one and I'm going to put in skateboard. Well, not skateboard. Be really careful when you type it in. Skateboard. Now you have got different ways in which you can, ooh, that one's pretty cool. You've got different ways in which you can, let me show you this, um, search for things because you can search using Pixabay or Unsplash. And I'm gonna go to Pixabay, see if there's anything different. Wow, that one's pretty cool. This one here, wow, I'm gonna use that. Look at that, check it out. Maybe I'll also scale it so it zooms in slightly. Whoa, and then I can move it. So you can see the skateboard. Maybe I'll do it so that the kind of guy is half cut off. That's pretty cool. I like it. So I've got skateboard. The thing I want here, I'm going to replace this one, is going to be uh, water pistol. I want people to bring water pistols so we can have a water fight. Cool. There's one there. Maybe I can scale that one in as well. Maybe. Nice. Water pistol. Looking good there. And then the last one down here is, uh, it's not going to be this kind of uh, little sort of dinner table setup. I'm going to get some break dancing going. Break dancing. Cool. So let me find a really cool picture here. Uh, maybe there's a better one on Unsplash. Maybe I need, rather than break dancing, I should put break dancer. Let's have a look at that one. Great, looking good. But let me also show you, I could replace this. And if I put just put breakdance in there, maybe I get some more. And I do actually. This one is the one I want. Great, look at that. This guy knows how to breakdance. Look at that. Blimey. Right, next thing to do is I'm going to put some text in because I want people to know that they should be bringing their own skateboard, for example. So I'm going to put in text. Uh, what am I going to do here? Maybe I'll try and put in... Maybe I'll use this one here, right. Now, rather than artist or whatever that says, right, I'm gonna put, bring your skateboard. Cool, pop it in there. I like the way it's kind of done funky things with the text. I'm gonna leave it because I think it looks cool. Bring your skateboard. Change the colors up so it matches my sort of uh, red and yellow theme. I'm gonna put, I'll put that one in there and then I'll also put a secondary color in. Maybe I'll just automatically select this one. What's it like if I shuffle it? Maybe I'll just move that over. Bring your skateboard. That's cool, isn't it? I really like that, but you can mess around with any of these kind of style of things. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select that text, duplicate it, bring it over to this side. And rather than, uh, rather than try and create something from new, I'll just change the text instead. What a fight. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll kind of make this one slightly smaller. Nice. And then I'll go down here and I'll cha I'll duplicate this one again. And then I'll put, instead of bring your skateboard, I'll put learn to break dance. Nice. Okay, there we go. Oh, look what it's done to the text there. That's pretty funky. I like that, so I'll keep it in. I'll just put it right down in the bottom corner there. Um, water fight party. Maybe I'll add in a third word there so it does that sort of uh, yellow and red thing again. Uh, maybe I'll pop that one there. Make it a bit bigger. Water fight party. Learn to break dance. And then the final thing I'm going to do here is... Add in, what is it? What is it I'm going to add in? I'm going to add in some text. Uh, but this time I want it to be this sticker here, this kind of sticker style. Instead of it being good morning, I'm going to change that to call me. Oh, hang on. Call me to reserve your place. Exclamation, oh, exclamation mark. Press done. I'm going to change the orientation slightly. Just going to rotate it round so it looks a bit cooler. Put it down in the bottom left here. Maybe, maybe I've rotated it too far. Take it back a bit. Bring it down even more. 
I'm going to change the font to one that I like, which is, let me just see where it is, this one, Harman Sands. I like that. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change it to yellow. And then I'm going to add a secondary style. And I'm going to make that one red. Uh, and then I'm going to make sure that it's all of the text, not just the little bit that it gave me at the start. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? How long did that take? Not very long at all. So now it's time to just check that I've got everything that I need. I think I have. I've got the date. I've got the name of the party. I've got my icon. I've got my little text on each one of the photos. So now it's time to download. You can choose any one of these. I'll choose a JPEG. Why not? Start the download. It's downloaded to my computer here. If you want to change the title, you can also do that as well. What's this one going to be called? Digi, uh, Digidom Best. And then I'm also going to share it. Now, this is where having a link is really, really handy because I can publish it, create my link, copy it, and then send it to all my friends over email, for example. So easy. Don't even need to print anything. Awesome. If you ever want to change anything, for example, you might think something like, I can't really read the text that well here. So you could select this photo rather than changing the text, go to filters, do something like, give it a matte filter automatically. That's much easier to read the text. Then go back to something like share, publish it, and then update that link just by pressing it there. You can see it says updating the link, and then it'll give you a new one, which you can send out to your friends and your family. Copy, and off you go. I hope you enjoyed that, Digifans, and I hope you're gonna invite me to your parties. So please do share your invites with me using the hashtag Digidom or by finding me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can get all of your invites before anybody else. Speaking of which, if you want to get an invite to my party before anybody else, then you better subscribe to my channel, so subscribe. That's all we got time for. And where am I going to see you next? That's right, in the next Digidom video. Ciao for now.